Now, folks, we haven't heard a lot lately from White House senior advisor and man who someday neighbors will describe as a quiet guy kept to himself, <laughs> Stephen Miller. But this weekend, Miller emerged from his secret lair for an interview on Face the Nation. He started out by enforcing the administration's strict rules on holiday greetings. Good to have you here in studio. It's uh, great this... to be here. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you. Miller's not exactly a people person, <laughs> but he's trying to make a connection. Merry Christmas. What a warm holiday feeling. We mutually have Pumpa pum pum <laughs> Now, Trump has been threatening to shut down the government for a while over the border wall, and Miller defended it and then went off on some judges. We're going to do whatever is necessary to build the border wall to stop this ongoing crisis of illegal immigration. And that means this is a down? this is a very if it comes to it, absolutely. I One of the great tragedies that is going on in our country today is the loopholes in our immigration laws and the deficiencies in our immigration laws and left-wing activist judicial rulings that incentivize the most vulnerable populations to come to our country. It's true. He's right. There's one left-wing activist who spends all day incentivizing the vulnerable standing in New York Harbor. I don't know <laughs> if she's a judge, but she's got a robe and a flaming gavel. Yeah. Somebody ought to check that out. But who am I kidding? You can't really hear a word he's saying over the sound of you looking at his sprayed-on hair. <laughs> he looks like Eddie Munster and the Count from Sesame Street had a baby, and then the baby went bald. <laughs> now, as a reminder, this is how Stephen Miller normally looks. There has not been a right-wing propagandist with fake hair that obvious since Joseph Goebbels tried to weave. <laughs> I gotta salute the hair and makeup team over at Face the Nation, because you know, before he went on the air, he turned to them and said, how do I look? Um... Good. <laughs> you, look, you look good. But this government shutdown is a serious issue, and Stephen Miller could be a decisive voice. Here to tell us more about the showdown over border policy is White House senior advisor Stephen Miller. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Thank Miller. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Now, Merry Christmas. <laughs> sure. Now, Merry Christmas. You have to say it, Stephen. You say it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Very good. Good, good, good. Now, Mr. Miller, are you still willing to shut down the entire government in order to pay for the border wall? First of all, Stephen, let me just say, Merry Christmas. And yes, absolutely, the government is like the raccoon I once trapped beneath my parents' porch. It made a mistake, and it must be taught the lessons. Well, this is even more extreme than what you've advocated in the past. And, and we all remember, you were the architect of the original family separation policy. Stephen, it is... <laughs> let me tell you something. It is absolutely reckless to call me some sort of architect. We had no architect. That is why the children are intense. Merry Christmas. Did, did your hairline just move forward? <laughs> Stephen, the only thing that is moving forward is the pack of lawless immigrants who will stop at nothing to get into this country, but also will be discouraged by a single wall. But, M Mr. Miller, hasn't America always, historically, been a nation of immigrants? Uh, wrong. No. That is absolutely wrong, Stephen. Also, Merry Christmas. America has always been known for strong borders, just as I, Stephen Miller, have always been known for long, lustrous, luscious sideburns. Okay, that, that is actually not what we know you for. Also, uh, did you just spray on your sideburns? Um, I did not, no. But if I did, it would only be to build a wall of hair to protect my traditional American face against dangerous child immigrants. Merry Christmas. Okay, let's get back to the government shutdown. Millions of workers, and that's not an exaggeration, will be without paychecks. Are you willing to sacrifice them just to make a political point? <laughs> Stephen, please. We will do whatever it takes to 
Secure the border and enforce the agenda put forth by President Jabba. I'm sorry. <laughs> did, you, did you say President Jabba? Mm. No, I said Trump. Merry Christmas. But how is the president going to get his border wall built with the Democrats now controlling the House of Representatives if he could not do that when the Republicans controlled both houses? Stephen, the simple fact... The simple fact is anyone who opposes this president is a jive turkey who lacks the funkiness to protect our borders. For Stephen, we are one nation under a groove, getting down just for the funk of it. Do you have the capacity to dig it, Stephen? I do not. Mm. All right. But I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. Merry Christmas. Oh. Oh, was it Christmas? I didn't even realize. Merry Christmas. Stephen Miller, everybody. We'll be right back. I just with Santa